Um, for me, a particular memory stands out. It's my ninth birthday. And as a child, I, I loved my birthday because it meant presents. Um, and to be honest, I quite like the presents aspect. And I was getting off the school bus and I was going back home. And I saw my cousin's car outside my house and I just knew that that meant I was getting a, a load of presents and then um, I walked into the house no one gave me any attention and I was a bit of a diva as a child and some people would argue that I still am and I was uh, annoyed that no one gave me the attention because it was my ninth birthday but my mum was watching the TV screen and I turned round and it was a news channel that was on and that was normal in our household because we always were told to keep up to date with current affairs and make sense now that I'm a member of parliament. I turned round and it was um, Sky News or BBC News, I can't remember which, and there was a clip of two planes crashing into towers and that, that was on a loop. Madam Deputy Speaker, my birthday is the 11th of September 1992 and I turned nine the day the Twin Towers were attacked and that's that memory for me that I'll never forget because my life changed after that. I was always aware that I was a, a woman of colour, I was a practising Muslim, I was a little bit different from my peers. They had church on Sundays, I had Quran lessons, but that difference was, was never really knowing but the next day i went to the school bus stop and i was asked if my parents were terrorists i was told that my skin color was dirty and um, but, the, but there's other memories as well my dad was racially profiled at, at airports my mosque was petrol bombed just a couple of months after 9 11 um, and this all happened in in scotland over 70% of Muslims in a recent survey conducted by the Equalities and Human Rights Council said that they experienced some form of abuse this past year. After Muslims, we know it's Jewish people that are most targeted with religious hate crimes, with 19% impacting them. And the number of anti-Sikh hate crimes reported has increased by 70% between 2017 and 2020. The scary consideration is, however, that these figures are not accurate and religious hate crimes are underreported and there's a lack of faith, pardon the pun, in the judicial system that crimes will be sufficiently investigated. And there's no doubt that more needs to be done across all four nations to address this and Scotland is no exception. Recently, the Scottish Government passed legislation which expanded the definition of hate speech, making it easier to hold to account those who exp express prejudice in a threatening or abusive way, a step in the right direction, and I look forward to hearing the, from the Minister of what is going to happen from the UK Government. Madam Deputy Speaker, my name is Anam Kazar. I'm a member of Parliament elected to the House of Commons by the people of Airdrie and Shots. I'm a Muslim. The reality is that whilst I've been speaking in this debate and I've actually posted social media stuff already today about Islamophobia and I've already had abuse. After this, I'll go online to check my social media, to check my emails, to see if anything merits police awareness. I can stay quiet. No one's forcing me to speak in these debates, but I do. For people of all faith and belief across the four nations and across the world so that they can practice their faith openly. But I also speak out for nine-year-old Adam because I didn't have a voice back then, but I do now. Yeah.